What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be playing something new um, that just came out on to a couple days ago's patch. Um, I was working at the time, so sorry I have not been able to get a, vi a video out. So if you see me not get a video out in a few days, I work a lot. But anyway, today we're going to play a new jet. I've only had like one or two games in with it, so I have not really got the feel for what this fighter does but we will figure it out together and we will make this a how to use video or how I use type of video uh, today we're going to be playing the F-84F Thunderstreaker from Israel yeah I got the premium version so apparently the top speed for this jet is around 685 uh, you lose around 60 miles per hour or 60 some kilometers an hour uh, depending on what um, speed thing you use. But anyway, I've got two 2,000 pound bombs on here. Let's go to the payload options and show you the payload options for the secondary weapons. Uh, you got four 1,000s to 2,000 pounds. Uh, the HVR rockets, uh, four 500s, and then you can go from there. You got your Mighty Mouses. I don't know why you need 250s. They really don't do a whole lot. Um, but anyway, so it's not a bad jet. From what I've seen, the climb rate is... Eh. Um, it does not go wep. That is... And it does not have afterburners. So anyway, let's go ahead and activate us a booster. And let's get into the fight and try to see what we actually can do with this jet. Alright, we're on Operation City. Uh, let's try taking out a couple 2,000 pound bombs first. Uh, let's see, what would be the best belt? AP, da -da -da -da, incinerators, AP, armor piercing, incinerator rounds. Let's go with the armor piercing ones. And let's go with, let's take the 2,000, let's go with 0 0.5 seconds of a BAM. And this plane is a 8.7 jet. So you will be placed up with like carriers and stuff sometimes. Like now. Um, but at least we're with the French. So that's our <laughs> French and British most of the time. Oh, we even got Germans and Russians. We're fighting. Most of the time at this BR, I've been fighting the American and Japanese. Um, this does not have a ballistics computer or a cockpit bomb mission targeting. Um, it really is a basic jet, so pretty much you will have to guide in the bombs yourself, which you should be used to by playing the lower tiers. And really, it don't seem like a good, uh, a very fast jet right at the moment. I know we got some 2000s and I'm kind of level fighting. I'm at like 400 and I'm going up slowly 500 but I've got two 2,000 pound bombs which really look good on this thing uh, the turn rate looks really good the wingspan looks awesome Let's see if we can get a better look at it there we go looks like a very nice wingspan to us tail looks nice so we should be able to maneuver really well uh, I don't, I don't know if I should just go for the bomb targets or the next match we will try this as a straight jet fighter. I guess it's supposed to be a multi-role. I'm not a hundred percent, but we are fighting things with freaking air-to-air -air missiles. So we'll have to figure this jet out just a little bit. Let's see if we can get into these targets. Got A4B up in front of us. We have 50 cows, by the way. That is our primary weapon. Forgot to mention that. 50 cows, we do not have cannons. We have six 50s.
Try to see if I can burn him. Come on. Come on. Get it down. Get it down. We ain't gonna get it down. Go do that extreme overload now. Thumbs up. Run! Run! Woo! We got a base. Well, there's us some free points. If you need to, use it like you would the Harrier and carry some daggone bombs. And, oh wow, we're really picking up the speed now. Heck yeah. Let's get in here, see how it does as a dogfighter. Come on, close in. We're really picking up the speed very, very quickly. And bombs must have really had a lot of drag on us. Alright, let's get in here. It's been a while since I've dogfight with a jet. You know, all them air to air missiles and stuff. Let's get in here. Come here. Eh. Eh. Oh, I can't even see my tracer rounds. That's not good. He's going to outrun me. That's the only problem. Get him, buddy. I can't do it. Hush, Peanut. Sorry for my dog barking, guys. F-86. Alright, on this F-100. See if I can turn into him. Eh. It's not a bad turn fighter, that's for sure. Just ain't got the speed. Ah! Almost out of fuel. Let's go back to base. Need fuel. Oh no. <laughs> Try to save some fuel, see how long I'll stay in flight. Do we got air brakes? We do have air brakes. Heck yeah. We do have air brakes. Ooh, we won. <clears throat> All right. So we said that on this battle we would do without any payload to see how the fighter does. Fighter bomber, multi-role fighter, whatever you want to call it. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. Ooh. -hoo. Dang, air spawn. So I guess we would be considered a multi-world fighter or a fighter bomber that if we get an air spawn or an interceptor. I don't know, but it looks like our speed is climbing super quick. Ooh, Sabs, 105s. We'll have to check that one out eventually too. I just like the wings on this thing. 
They're so big. And that tail. Holy crap. Oh yeah. Alright, let's see what we can do for a turn fight. I'm gonna go for this A4B. Ooh, B-57s. I have not fight them in a while. Or fought them in a while. I'm here, boy. I'm here, boy. I gotta be careful so you don't bomb drop on me. Level up, level up, level up. Meow. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, that didn't work. All right, this time we're gonna take out four one thousand pound bombs. Let's put a five sec or a one second timer on it and go. Oh, we got up. Oh no. Take off. Um, we've seen that this jet is pretty much not a real good dogfighter because of its speed. Um, it turns really well. It can't pull up worth a crap. Uh, even with nothing on it. So, it is probably a good mixed battle fighter, multi role fighter. But in Air RB, I'm not so sure yet. It could be a good one. Just could be the pilot. I'm not 100%. Um, the BR rating for it, I don't know. You're fighting things with air to air missiles and you ain't got nothing to defend yourself really besides 50 cals. And you can't really take down a jet really easy with 50s. Um, you'll be pinging him forever. I mean, if we had better rounds, possibly, but. Um, and then the the bombs ain't bad. So I suggest on how to use this thing is to go for bases or ground targets first. And then try to help mop up and use the 50s to defend yourself. Would more likely be the way to use it. Uh, without the ballistics computer, it's going to be a little bit harder to hit bases. But, I mean, at least you'll get points either way, though. So, the best thing to do if you're trying to get, you know, more stuff unlocked, definitely go for the point advantage. Um, use your war bonds and everything like that to try to get you more things to get faster research. Uh, I would suggest this if you have part of your French Air Force tech tree. To help you research. Because of the research bonus it gets. I think it gets like. Six. Uh, 936. Right now with my 50 plus bonus. 150 bonus. So. It's not bad. I'll give you the actual one after this battle. And it doesn't hurt to have a little bit of premium as well. That'll help you even more. But even without it. It's still not bad. Um, I always put on the weapon selection mood, so I only have to use one trigger. Since we got Harriers on our side. And also thing, a good thing to use for this jet is also to try to get all the points you can. Ooh, there's a missile. Try to get all the points you can. So that way, and do all the missions, so that way you get better points with this jet. Let's see. And I gotta make sure I start using the air brakes. That was uh, my problem the last two. 
I had to wait like five, six minutes just to before I could get into the next battle because my crew was not back, which kind of stinks. What the? <laughs> Fell out. And that's your problem. The air to air missiles. Alright, we're gonna go back to the 2,000 pound bombs. Because why not? Let's go, guys. I think my 150 booster is used up. Yep. Uh, so, your actual research bonus is 624. Which ain't bad. And my weapon selection. Alright. Whatever, guys. I'll attack the ground targets then. Those bombers. The only problem that I've seen with this jet in playing like Air RB is the air to air missiles. You have no chance whatsoever to um, get away from them. You have no defense besides maneuvering and if you maneuver too hard you the extreme overload will break your wings off if you're going too fast um, so really this is probably a mixed battle uh, jet and if you take it into normal normal jet battles then I would suggest that or normal RB, air RB I would suggest using the bomb tactic and going for ground targets and base targets which I'm gonna try to go for right now try to get some targets but we got A7's and crap like that all over the place and I even go for like little light targets like this ARs, the little AR 234s. That was way off. Get him, Yak. More help our ally get this kill here for this target. Oh, he's going back in. Never mind. Air brakes. Bombs out. Air brakes in. Ah, I heard the rocket. Or the missile. I couldn't get away from it. So definitely... A mixed battle jet. Bail out. Bail out. And I wish we could get on a lower BR. Well, we can try one more. But yes. How I suggest on using this thing is just go for the targets. Bomb targets. Kind of like some of them... Um, World War II planes that you just go for the bomb targets. I suggest doing the same for this because you have really no chance against the air to air missiles except for evading them. Uh, getting behind some of the jets that you fight at this BR, like uh, the American Harrier AV8s and other jets that have air to air missiles, you're uh, on an uphill battle since you do not have afterburners. It's even worse. Even after you drop your bomb, you're still going to be outmaneuvered and outran. So, that's all I can really suggest on this thing. Let's go ahead. Alright. Let's get to the bomb target. Let's stay low. We seem to be getting a lot more speed when we're staying low. So, sea level flight almost. 
get come on seemed like our other ally is about to that target he didn't mark what target he wanted oh he's not going for targets alright well this target's ours let's get in here so we might get lucky and actually get a drop on this target never mind An F-100. Let's get a fly low. That F-100 go. Good, we're good. Get on this target. The enemy is oh, I know the enemy is winning. Eh. Oh, they're filled. And bombs out. Let's get out of here. Extreme overload. Woo, we got a base kill. Heck yeah. So yeah, just use it as a fighter bomber. Pretty much you bring the bombs along, drop the bombs off. I mean, that's what this thing could be classified as, but I don't know because Gaijin only classifies it as a jet fighter on here. So it's kind of hard to tell you that exactly until you actually run it. I guess I could look it up, which I probably will, and put it in the description so you guys will know for sure what it actually is. If it's a straight fighter or a fighter bomber or a multi-role... We'll know. We'll know together. F-86. I wonder if I can f dogfight a F-86 straight on without worrying about anything. He's probably a little bit faster than me, but I'm not 100%. Come here. I want to fight you. Come here. Come here. Stop running. Ooh, man, the air brakes are nice. Slows us down a lot. Oh, he's dead. There's a missile. Let's get in here with these A4Bs. Another missile. Good lord. All these missiles. F-86. He's turning. Maybe I need... I'm going to turn the opposite way. We're losing speed, but we are turning like a dime. Oh, there's another missile. So yeah, it's going to be hard to get kills. We have to RTB. We're getting low on fuel. But it's going to be hard to get like actual jet kills with this thing. Um, only because you don't have air-to-air -air missiles at this BR. That's what's dominant is air-to-air -air missiles. Oh, bro, you got something behind you. Screw it. I'm going to help him. Nope. Ooh, there was a missile. Almost a friendly lock. Let's see if we can get a kill, a jet kill with it. We need to try. Oh, we got a hit. Got a hit. Oh my lord. 
There was a jet crash in front of me. Uh, I wonder if we can land at this airfield and get some fuel. Uh, gear, gear up, gear up, extend brakes. We're gonna come in too hot, too hot. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Eh. Yes, drag shoot. Fuel police? Ah, yes, we stopped. Maybe it'll give us some fuel. Yeah, fuel and rearm. Heck yeah. Refuel the bomber. But yeah, air to air kills will probably be a little bit more difficult at this uh, battle rating. And also fighting um, all kinds of stuff. I can outmaneuver you, outspeed you. So it'll probably... <laughs> I don't want to say it'll probably be an energy fighter, but it'll probably be like an energy fighter bomber mix. Be 100% of my suggestion for you using it. Kind of like the AV-8, how I said that it would be a good uh, bomb to always bring bombs. I suggest that with this as well. Looks like we won, fellas. Looks like we won. So always bring bombs with this jet. Always. Yay. But alright guys. Thank you for watching in today's video. Uh, please leave a comment of what you think of the F-84F Thunderstreaker. Um, always bring bombs with it. That's all I'm going to say. It's okay fighter. Turn time's really... It's actually not that bad for the turn time for it. But you also got them bombs. Um, if you want points, definitely bring bombs. It probably is a really good mixed battle fighter. Fighter bomber or multi-role. Um, but a straight fighter for... Air RB, I, yeah, no. Bombs, bring bombs. So you're made sure that you always get points. That won't always happen because you've seen in one of the fights I was in, I was shot out of the sky by an air-to-air -air missile really easily. So, but anyway, that's what I suggest. So anyway, have a great weekend, guys, and I will see you all next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.